Hey everybody, we're here. We're gonna show you how to winterize your sprinkler system. We're gonna go through how to connect it. The weather's starting to get cold. It's the end of October here in Utah. And so it's just about time to turn off the sprinkler system, get all the water blown out, so that way we don't have any freeze breaks through the winter. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is find your sprinkler shutoff. Usually it'll be out by your, your water meter. In this case, we have secondary water. Uh, different from the normal water, the culinary water. So here is our irrigation water right in there. This little cap that goes on there, we take that off. This one has a shaft that brings it up from the three feet deep, so we don't have to go as deep. And then you just have your stop and waste key right here. That Once you get it on top of the key like that, it, it'll just fit over the key like that. And then we're just going to turn it 90 degrees, so a quarter turn, and you'll be able to hear it. So we could just hear it right there. We just turned it 90 degrees. Now the water shut off. And you can do that at any time, uh, even before you have the compressor and everything set up. But now we're gonna switch over and look at uh, how we're gonna connect into the sprinkler system to be able to blow it out. Okay, so one of the ways you can connect into your sprinkler system is here in the hose bib. If you haven't connected to your sprinkler system, like this is on the same pipe. So if it's flowing when your sprinkler system is on, and then you shut it off and no, no longer right here, we can open it up and no longer the water is flowing. So it's connected to our sprinkler system. And so you can use a part either like this to screw on to the hose bib like that, or you can use this one. And we're gonna go over the different connections, but here are two of the possible connections to be able to just screw that on there and be able to get the uh, air hooked onto this from the compressor. The other way is over here. It's uh, if you have a filter on your sprinkler system. So right here, you can look in here, if you can look down in there and see, here's the main filter on the main line. So this is the one we're gonna connect to and we're gonna take off this, this uh, we're gonna bleed out the water if there is, but there's not much water. And so then we'll just open this up. So the water shut off, there's no water flowing. At the same time, it's nice, you can look at this and clean off this filter while we're blowing out. But what we're gonna do is take off that filter so we're not pushing that dirt into the system and then put this back on, just like that. And then, and then we have this lever to open up the valve. And then we'll, we'll use this one just to screw on like this. Make sure it's on there right, nice and snug. So this is just a hose bib fitting into a half inch and then out here to a Chicago fitting, which is what the hose on the compressor is gonna use. Otherwise, if you're just using a normal, uh, I think this quarter inch NPT fitting, you could do the same thing and then just connect it to that like that. So, but today we're gonna use this Chicago fitting and now it's on there tight. You can use some pliers, but I think we're good. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the next step. Okay, now we're gonna take our hose with the Chicago fitting on it and connect it into here. So it'll just go like that. It'll go over that node just like that. So it just hooks on like that. Now it's all connected. Now let's go on over to the compressor. So we're actually gonna be using this tow behind compressor. And now you can use your at home compressors that you can get from one of the big box stores. But the difference is you're gonna have a CFM of approximately like two and a half CFMs to at the max 23 CFMs. And, but with the tow behind compressor, you're gonna get like 175, 185. I think this one's 185. And so that's gonna push a lot more air into your system. It's gonna take a lot less time to get it out. So that's why I recommend just getting a tow behind, rent it, you know, get together with your neighbors and just make sure you have all your fittings ready to go and then bring this thing in and it'll take so much less time. Otherwise, uh, with other compressors, it's doable, but it's just gonna probably take a lot more tries with each zone just to make sure you get it out and it's not gonna blow it out as, as well as something that's gonna be able to push so much more air through the system like this. Oh, so now to hook up this end of the hose to the compressor, it's gonna take one of these uh, valves, connect it there. And then over here at the control panel, we'll hit this power button. We'll wait a second for the glow plugs to warm up since it's a diesel. 
and then it'll tell us when it's ready. And then we'll hit the start button. That will crank it up. It will go up to 50 PSI and hold there. And then give it 30 seconds or so. And then when we're ready to blow air through the sprinkler system, we'll hit service air. And then that will bump the PSI up to 125. And that, that makes sure that none of the moisture gets back into the engine and causes issues, as the rental company had said. When we're done, what we'll do is we'll come in here and just hit the stop button when we're all done blowing out the sprinkler system. So that's it. Now let's get started. Okay, we got the generator warming up. But we got all the hoses connected. Now we're gonna go either to the sprinkler clock or if you have it on your phone, you can just run through. And we're just gonna go through zones one through whatever you have in your system and go to each zone and, and uh, let, we're gonna open up the valve down here and then turn on the sprinklers and then we're gonna see all the water get flushed out of the system and we're just gonna go from zone to zone until all the water is out and we see air coming out of the sprinkler heads. So that's what we're gonna show you now. Start that now. That was zone one, so now we're gonna go on to zone two. Now you can hear all the water going out of the system. All right, moving on to the next zone. It's mostly only dry. You can see it's nothing but air going through. There's a little more water over there, but now you can see it. Now it's just air. So that's when we can move on to the next one. Alright, moving on to the next zone. Here we go. Uh, just a small zone that's covering this area in the shade. And as soon as the water starts going out, you'll start seeing it start putting out air. But usually you want to wait for the, the head that's farthest away to blow out. It'll be the last one on the line that will start Going out of air. So we still got water coming over here. So we'll wait. We'll wait for these two over here since they're farthest away from the valve until they start blowing air more consistent. And then we can move on to the next zone. Pushing all that water out. That one only has no water in it over there. The valves are right here. And so uh, the last one on the zone is this one over here. So we'll watch for that one. And now it's going mostly air. All these are blowing air. Now we can go on to the next one. This one. This one's blowing out all air, but 
these ones over here are farther away and so there's still a little bit of water coming out of them almost gone this one we're watching the one farthest away watching this one farthest away it's going to be the last one to start blowing out air so right now we still got water and we're going to wait for the air to start coming through this one there it starts there you go Okay, and we're doing the drip lines too. So let's see if we can get away from the, you can hear it. You can see it kind of right there, pushing the water out of the drip lines. Okay, now the air is just coming through it. After turning it off, we'll want to let the air out of the system so that before we disconnect the hose. So we'll use this other valve to open it up and let the air fill out. Okay, now the air is out, we'll close it back. We'll close this one back, we'll disconnect the hose, and put everything back together.